limoncello. Ba -ba -da -da. See if I can juggle. You don't think I can do it? Yeah. Why? You're right. What's <laughs> up, guys? My name is Courtney Budson, and this is What's for Din. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a limoncello cheesecake trifle. Spring is on its way, and what is a better way to welcome spring than a delicious, refreshing limoncello dessert? This dessert, you guys, is top notch. I'm telling you, it doesn't get better than this. It is so stinking good, so without further ado, and no more chitty chitty bang bang, let's get to the recipe. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is work on the lemon layer of our trifle. So I just have a saucepan here over medium low heat. And into that, I'm going to add some lemon curd. Now you can use your own lemon curd, you can use store-bought, whatever you want. And to that, I'm going to add some lemon cello. Now this is homemade lemon cello. Like I said before, you can definitely use store-bought. And if you're not familiar, lemon cello is just a lemon liqueur, so it is alcohol, so just keep that in mind. Now, if you guys want my recipe for limoncello, just let me know in the comments section below. So all I'm doing is whisking it together, and I just want to bring it up to a very light simmer. Okay, you can see this is at a very low simmer. You don't want it going any higher than that. To that, I'm going to add some cornstarch and a little bit of water, and we're going to whisk that together. Basically, we're just making a slurry so it can thicken the sauce. Go ahead and dump that in. And as it heats up, it's going to get really nice and thick. So you can see how quickly this got really nice and thick. It's only been a couple of minutes, and as it cools, it'll get even thicker and thicker. So now all we have to do is turn off the heat, pour it into a bowl, and just set it aside so it can cool completely until we're ready to use it. Okay, so now we're gonna work on my favorite part, the cheesecake layer. Oh, it's so good. So I have my standing mixer here, and I'm just gonna add some room temperature softened cream cheese. And I just wanna beat this until it's nice and fluffy. All right, you can see it's nice and fluffy. It has a really light texture, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some vanilla extract and some powdered sugar. Okay, and we're just gonna lightly start it so we don't get blasted with sugar. And then you just wanna mix this until it's nice and fluffy and all creamed together. All right, you can see that is nice and fluffy and creamy. So I'm actually going to take this out of this bowl and put it into another bowl and set it aside while we work on the next step. All right, I cleaned out my bowl and the next step is we're just gonna whip together some heavy cream. This could take anywhere from like five to eight minutes depending on how fast you have your mixer on or if you're using a hand mixer or a whisk. So we just wanna whip this until it has nice stiff peaks. You can see it's nice and fluffy and it's quite stiff and that's exactly what you're looking for. Now to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cream cheese mixture. You just wanna cut down the center, fold it over and just keep doing this until it's all nice and combined. Okay, everything's ready to go. Everything's super nice and chilled. I have my spoons ready to go and my ladyfinger cookies. And now we can go ahead and start assembling it. So I just have a regular trifle dish here. You don't have to use anything fancy. You can even use a bowl if you want, if you don't have something like this. So I'm gonna start by putting some ladyfinger cookies in the bottom layer of the dish. Sometimes if you want it to fit perfectly, you gotta break them up. All right, so on top of that, you can go ahead and spread a little bit of your lemon curd mixture. Just doing about a third of this mixture. Just making sure it gets all over. It'll all come together in the end, so if it looks crazy right now, don't worry about it. The main thing is to make sure every single cookie is covered, so when it sits in the fridge, it'll get nice and soft. Now just because I'm a little bit extra, I just like to put some lemon wedges that I cut in half on the outside of the bowl, just so that it looks really pretty from the outside. Our next step is adding our cream cheese and whipped cream mixture. You just wanna smear that over top of everything you just did very gently. Take your time with this. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because it all mixes together in the end anyway. And for a pop of color and a little added flavor, I like to add some blueberries because blueberry goes amazing with lemon. So just repeat those same steps and then I'll show you what to do on the last layer. So for the very last layer, all you have to do is do the exact same thing, except for don't take the cream cheese and whipped cream layer all the way to the side of the bowl. You really want that lemon layer to kind of peek out so it looks really pretty from the top. You can put some lemon zest on top, you can put some blueberries, some chunks of lemon, some mint, whatever you want. Decorate it and go crazy. So now that we have it all assembled, we have to do the hardest part, which is wait. <laughs> so we have to stick it in the refrigerator for at least six hours, but preferably overnight. Six hours is meh, okay, but if you do it overnight, it's going to taste way better. It'll have a chance to have all those flavors just meld together. So I'm going to let mine sit overnight. So I will see you guys tomorrow, which for you will be like two seconds. So here is the beautiful final product. It smells like a lemony heaven in here. So let's dive in. I always feel like I need to blow on it first. It's too hot. I got a blow on it. <laughs> Mm. Oh my goodness. 
It's so creamy, but that lemony flavor is so like light and refreshing. You guys are gonna love this. So if you guys do wanna recreate this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll leave all the measurements as well as the written instructions. If you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe because I have many more recipes to come. So as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace. Really? <laughs> I quit. Where did you get that cute look? You look great. Well, thank you, fellas. I've got a way to keep in style. Powder your face with sunshine.